Hey there, YouTube. Uh, continuing with the uh, new releases on DistroWatch, we currently have a new release on Red Core Linux. And it says Red Core Linux is a desktop oriented distribution based on Gen 2. The project's latest release, Red Core Linux 2401, brings updated hardware support through newer kernels and switches the default sound system to Pipewire. So we have the ISO downloaded and in the virtual machine. So uh, let's head over there and get it installed and take a look at Red Core Linux 2401. And here we are in the virtual machine. And uh, you see, we got a welcome sign. Welcome to KDE Plasma. So uh, before we look at the welcome, we want to go ahead and install the system. So uh, let's go ahead and click on the icon that's on the desktop. So we have two icons. We have ask for help and install system. So we'll double click on the install system. And it opens up the uh, Calamari's installer. So here we got it uh, language selected as American English. I click next. And my location, Los Angeles. Click next. And keyboard layout, English US. Click next. Then I'll set it up to erase disk. And I'll just do a quick swap. Well, we're looking for a swap the file, but uh, I'll just put a swap no hibernate. Then on to my user info. Give it a strong and complicated password. And I'll set it to log in automatically for ease of use. Then we'll get an overview of our installation. Click on install, install again. And it's installed. So uh, while this is being installed, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. And when we get back, we'll be ready to reboot into uh, Red Core Linux, a Gen 2 based system. And it looks like the installer is completed, so I'm going uh, to check the uh, restart now and click on done. Let it reboot. And we are now rebooted into the system and we got a welcome to KDE Plasma screen. So we'll run through this right here. It says welcome to KDE Plasma. Plasma is a free and open source desktop environment created by the KDE, an international software community of volunteers. The Plasma desktop environment is simple by default for a smooth experience but powerful when needed to help you really get things done. We hope you love it. <laughs> Click on next. Simple by default. Powerful when needed. Connect your online accounts. Get involved. Support your freedom. That's it. All right. So this is Red Core Linux, Gen 2 based, 2401. And we're using the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So we have our panel on the bottom with the system tray on the right. Paid applications on the left and the application launcher. So clicking on the application launcher menu, we have development, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, system, utilities, and power session. We also have a search. So I guess the first thing we'll check out will be our pin applications. So we got Mozilla Firefox. Uh, I don't know if I've done a Gen 2 based system yet. So uh, this might be my first one, but I'm not 100% sure. But let's see what uh, Mozilla has to show. And we'll take a look at the help and about Firefox. And we were in, we're running version 121.0.1. Mozilla Firefox for Gen 2, Gen 2 1.0. And when you open up the browser, you have some uh, Gen 2 related uh, content that's pinned to the uh, bookmarks. So you got a forum, you got a bug, bug central, you got your uh, packages. So if you want to find what packages that you can put on uh, Gen 2. And we have something called Planet Gen 2. So welcome to Planet Gen 2, an aggregation of Gen 2 related weblog articles written by Gen 2 developers for a broader range of topics. You might be interested in Gen 2 Universe. And then we also have a wiki. 
So they they give you a browser that's full of gentle info. So if you need to find something, just check their bookmarks range. Right all right, and let's see what else we have here. It's going to be Dolphin, our file manager. And Dolphin, this. So, taking a look at our uh, about here. And on the about, we have a uh, Dolphin version 23.08.4. And Dolphin is your uh, file manager on KDE platforms. Man, it looks like we have a. Uh, Discover Software Center. Now, being that we are on Gen 2, yes, it's unable to load applications. I guess you could add FlatHub. Let's do that real quick. So, not sure what it's doing or if it's even trying to add it, but uh, take a look at the About, Discover 5.27.10, and Application Explorer. to show the involved installed apps check the like settings all right so i guess it installed flat hub so now if you want to install something for flat hub you could just install it from here all right so that's that and then we have a uh, system settings so the system settings on the uh, KDE is pretty much uh, your whole control center for your computer, where you can do everything from appearance, workspace, personaliza personalization, network, hardware, and system administration. So anything you need to do with your system, you can pretty much do it right here. And let's say, that for example, we click on appearance, we get some theme in right here. So right now we're set up as breeze, but uh, I'm gonna change this to breeze dark. Just so it'd be easier to ice. All right. But uh, right here, too, we have application style. You can change that. Plasma style, colors, windows, fonts, icons, cursors, font again, font management, and the splash screen. Splash screen is when you boot up your system. Then if you go back to all systems, you could do other things like your workspaces, your personalization, notifications, connections, input devices, hardware, about the system. So we'll take a look at about, Red Corn Linux, Harden, Rolling Boulder Uphill. And KDE Plasma version 5.27.10. All right. So now going back into the uh, application menu, see under development, we have QT5 Designer. Education, they have a couple items. They have games, Lutris and Steam. These are not actual games. These are game, uh, you would actually use these to put games on these. And then you have graphics. And in the internet, we already saw Mozilla, Multimedia. Now let's check out VLC. And VLC right here. They get the about and see what version of VLC we're running. 3.0.20, Lindenary. And the root at locals January 11, 2024. So it's a very recent build. And under Office, we do have LibreOffice. So we'll take a look at LibreOffice. And click on finish. All right, so this is the LibreOffice base. And on about LibreOffice, we run a 7.5.9.2. And under settings, let's see what do we have. Printer settings, system settings. Then we have a separate system. Uh, so on here, you can see we have HTOP. So let's take a look at HTOP. See if I can zoom it in like how. See it uh, running 1.14 gigabytes of RAM. 
and the load average is 0 0.23, 0 0.40, and 0 0.25. And you can take a look at your processes and see how much CPU they're working up. The biggest ones right now is root. So you have 1.9. It's not that bad at all. Getting back to the system, we take a look at console, which is our uh, terminal emulator. And on the help, we've got the about console. It's console version 23.08.4, terminal emulator. And I was wondering if they had NeoFetch installed. Do not. So how would I install NeoFetch on Gen 2? We could always search right here. See if we find anything. Okay. Nothing. Got all kind of weird applications on here, but nothing with NeoFetch. All right. Hell, to be honest, I don't even know how to install software on uh, the Gen 2. I don't even know what their uh, syntax is. Neofetch Gen 2 again. Emerge ask. I've missed. So do I have to be a... Uh... Do I have to be root? So let's see if I can do it as you. All right, and now let me do emerge as app this nail fetch. See what that does. These are the packages that would be merged in order. So not sure if it's building from source. And I've heard rumors of this taking forever when you're trying to build something from source. But let's see. Let's see what happens here. Installing NeoFetch. So it's doing it right now. Yeah. It's pretty much finished. So I'll just click on exit. And clear. And now we'll go NeoFetch. There you go. That wasn't bad at all. And then let's see right here. Red Core Linux hardened. The kernel 6.6.13. Desktop environment, Plasma 5.27.10. And the window manager is KWIN. All right. So, not bad at all. First time, I believe, looking at a Gen 2 system, and eh, it works pretty good. And this is Red Core. Oh, uh, yeah. No complaints here. Worked great. All right, that's going to do it for this video. So if uh, this is something you want to take a look at, I'll go ahead and leave the uh, homepage and download link in the video description. That way you can take a look at it and play with it. And remember, I always advise to uh, take a look at it in a virtual machine first before you go bare metal. This way you can spot any errors before they occur. All right, and I'm out.